Let's take a look at the importance of diffusion and osmosis to living things. We'll look at animal first, then we'll look at plant cell. Okay, animal cells, amoeba. I've drawn an amoeba for you. Amoeba has a lot of pseudopods. Huh? That means fake lake. Pseudo means fake. Pod means lake. So this is fake lake. Okay, remember tripod that support your camera. Tri means tree. Pod means lake. Okay, the tripod look like this. It has three legs. So pot here means leg. Pseudo means fake. Is these are all fake legs? Okay. Let's take a look at the usage of oxygen. Usage of oxygen in the cell will cause oxygen concentration in the cell to drop. So eventually, the oxygen concentration in the surrounding will be higher than that of the cell. So there will be diffusion of oxygen into the cell via diffusion. Okay. On the other hand, carbon dioxide is released during respiration. So the concentration of carbon dioxide is higher than that of the surrounding. So there will be a movement of carbon dioxide from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration out of the cell via the fusion. Okay, so here you can see that all waste material from the amoeba, all types of waste material, including urea, okay, maybe salt, all this, it will diffuse out through its cell membrane. Okay. Next, let's take a look at plant cell. Plant cell has a partially permeable membrane as well, although it was not, it isn't very clear in here. But remember, the second line here, the second line here, is a representation of cell membrane. Okay, because cell membrane is normally pressed onto the cell wall. This thingy here is your cell wall. Cell wall. This is cell membrane. Okay, so plant cells also have cell membrane. So during photosynthesis, plant uses up carbon dioxide. So this is the opposite. There will be a lower concentration of carbon dioxide inside the plant during bright day because of photosynthesis as opposed to higher concentration of carbon dioxide in the surrounding. So this will allow carbon dioxide to diffuse into the cell. Let's take a look at oxygen. Okay, oxygen is released as a byproduct of photosynthesis. So in that case, oxygen concentration will be very high in the plant cell and the surrounding will be lower than that in the cell. So diffusion will occur from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration via diffusion. Okay. Mm. So it's actually quite simple. So if you notice movement of gases involving oxygen, carbon dioxide, all this involve diffusion.